At least the Nerezim are safe now. I hope we will be able to rest. The Nerezim fought valiantly beside us, even unto the destruction of their world. Why? Their homeworld has always been ire. They have never forgotten it, or the sacrifice that delivered them to safety. You speak of Adun. So saith Judicator Zentheon. Adun failed to eradicate the rogue tribes, those who call themselves the Dark Templar. We witnessed the burst of the Twilight Star. In that treasonous instant, Adun ushered the heretics and himself to fate, purifying ire of their taint, but allowing them life. Treason? Adun chose mercy rather than committing genocide. This was a noble act, Preserver. Was it? I see history through the eyes of those who lived it, Artanus. Perhaps this is why you are blind to all that is before you. History's truths are only ever understood looking through the backwards lens, seeing its consequences take root. As a preserver, I have always experienced history as a living, breathing now, as those who experienced it in the moment did. Perhaps I should consider the way you view it. An Arudin Shakuras. Shakuras is gone. It has become one with the Eternal Night. But the traditions we forge there will remain with us forever. Is that still possible, Matriarch? More so than you may realize. What do you know of the Shadow Walk, Artanis? Little. Your people closely guard their customs. It is our most sacred rite of passage. The Initiate stands alone. Members of her tribe strike against her from the shadows. If she endures, she becomes a Shadow Hunter, true Dark Templar. Why do you speak of this? You stood alone, as Dark Templar, against countless enemies, risking your life for the many. You have walked as we have. You have walked the Shadow Path already, Artanis. You no longer have the Kala. You are Dark Templar. Now Shakuras, all that we have held dear is crumbling around us. Despite this, we must press on. As Hierarch, I was made aware of a location where our Kalai scientists experimented on new weaponry in secret. Within the Glacius facility, the Purifier program has been reborn. Commander James Raynor. Artanis? Man, ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Friend Raynor, you seem rather occupied. Just another day at the office. Who are these insurgents? Call themselves Mobius Corps, an elite guard that used to work for Dr. Narud. They've been striking worlds throughout the sector, leaving few survivors. Each world attacked reported hybridly. Then truly, no world is beyond Amon's reach. 
Reinforce those bulkheads. Reposition the Mark 7 Alpha. We need to form a battle line. They've overrun Sky Shield, our orbital defense platform. Looks like they've destroyed its atmospheric stabilizers. It's fallen fast. If it crashes, it'll obliterate August Grand. We will ensure that does not happen, Commander. Engage their fleet and keep their assault at bay. Like old times, buddy. Like old times. It seems fate has drawn us together once again, James Raynor. I call it luck. Luck is a concept that is purely human in origin. We Protoss see the synchronicity of events and know there is a grander design behind them. Now, it don't matter how you see it. The result's the same. So what brought you all the way out here, Artanis? Zeratul believed that the artifact in your possession, the Keystone, he called it, could guide us to the Zelnaga. Where's Zeratul now? The Dark Prelate fell on ire. His last hope was that I would continue his quest and find a way to stop Amon. Damn it. Always knew there was only one way this quest of his was gonna end. His loss is great. I know you called him friend. I went through hell to get that artifact because of his damned fool prophecies. Lost a lot of good men. If he wanted you to have it, take it. It's yours. Right now, though, we got a city to save. I must remind you, our sacred law, the Deul, clearly forbids us to interfere with lesser beings. Unless there is a direct threat to the Empire. Your choice to aid these Terrans is perplexing. Why do you assume that they are lesser beings, Rohana? I do not make an assumption. Gaze upon them. Unsophisticated. Primitive. They communicate through... orifices. Mouths. Many, including myself, once thought as you do. But I have seen their nobility. In time, you will also. Many of my Dark Templar have volunteered to act as scouts for us. They will keep us aware of Amon's movements. Sky Shield's in serious trouble, old buddy. If we can't bring it back online, August Grad's gonna take a nuclear-sized impact. Mobius Corps' soldiers are on the platform now, and those guys are suicidal. Rather die than let us stop them. This ain't good. The Sky Shield's not gonna last much longer. At this rate, we've got maybe ten minutes left till it lands smack dab on our capital. Your suspicions were correct, Commander. Mobius Corps is disabling the platform's atmospheric stabilizers as we speak. The damage appears repairable, Hierarch. Yeah, assuming Mobius Corps leaves anything left to repair. Artanis, if you can clear out those troops, my boys can patch up those stabilizers. That should buy us some extra time. We must move quickly. It will take the combined power of all five stabilizers to halt the platform's descent. is nearby. Securing it first will deliver us a staging ground to assault the other four.
conditions updated. Commander, your construction vehicles can begin the repairs. Thanks, Artanis. My boys are putting a sensor tower here. Should alert you if Mobius Corps swings through this area. emanating from these devices will slowly damage our shields. But their solarite reactors may be useful to us. Destroying these devices would be highly advised. reactors can be used to improve the solar core's energy output. I detect two more of these devices on the platform. If possible, you should seek them out.
by the void. Mobius Corps is mobilizing an attack against our Nexus Point. Rally our defenses. durability estimates. Nice work. Got a repair crew inbound. Heads up. Looks like Mobius Corps starting to reinforce the stabilizers. Expect some heavier resistance. By the way, I am the blade. has been cleared of enemy forces. Gotcha. Repairs underway. Man, you're sure pissing Mobius Corps off. A lot of troops guarding the stabilizers. Make sure you got enough forces to engage.
Solarite reactor now. Calculations updated. Only one stabilizer still remains in enemy hands. We must make haste. The final Solarite reactor is being warped aboard now. I will begin installing them as soon as possible. control of the station from here. Gotta say, I owe you big time for this one, partner. That's a hell of a thing your boys did, Artanis. Sky Shield is back online. We're about to call down the cavalry. We will join you on the surface and extract the Keystone. I got some bad news for you. Seems our friends below had the same idea. While we were fighting to get planet side, the Imperial Palace was raided. Security data indicates the Keystone was taken. My mama used to have a saying, when it rains, it floods. I am uncertain as to how this saying is helpful, friend Raynor. <laughs> Me either. Wait a minute. I'm getting intel. A Mobius Core evac team is headed toward Bennett Port. They got the Keystone. We shall not let them escape. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the Solar Core now. <laughs> 